Yo what is up guys Mr. Panelus here with Opera Omnia and today we are gonna be taking a look at the Sabine event, the Runaway Prince. So we managed to get all the way to part 5, we are gonna be tackling part 5 right now. Blind, as you can see it is new, level 50, should be fairly easy as most level 50s are nowadays because obviously the hard content is uh, on the co-op side of things and uh, yeah, basically this should be pretty easy. So let's see, we got clear without any KOs, clear within 90 turns, take 4500 or less HP damage. So you don't have a break requirement which is always nice to see because that one is the most annoying. Then obviously you have the 15k score. So I think pretty much the, uh, the turns are what is the most important thing here because obviously if you take KOs or if you take a lot of HP damage then there's probably something going wrong anyway, so <laughs> the the 90 turns is really what matters. And let's see, ooh, we got, okay, we got some specters, we got some poisonous bats, we got a Garuda. Hmm. So we have five waves, so I'm thinking this one is the third wave, right? So wind, ranged, ooh, that means Mr. Ace, he would be really good here. Then wind, um, Vaughn does have some uh, some wind attacks, and he is resistant to lightning. Howl grants attack up, max brave up. The thing about the the Garuda is this vulnerable right here, rendered defenseless when afflicted with break, cancel all buffs without frames. So whenever you get the, the bird in the vulnerable state, it's gonna be a breeze, right? It's gonna be pretty easy. But what we want to worry about is. Uh, the Ghost Brothers, there are three of them and looks like they are weak to ice, water and holy. Now Van does some holy damage so this is interesting. He is um, resistant to dark and resistant to lightning. So Ramu, <laughs> Ramu is not gonna be good here, right? But this means that Shiva is going to be decent because of that weakness right there. But I, I don't know man, like I feel like I'd still go with Ifrit just because of the 20% for all the waves plus the 20% in the final battle as well. So I don't know if he, I would go with Shiva to be honest. But I guess it kind of depends because Shiva would obviously help quite a bit here. So let's see. Dark Brave Magic Attack, okay, Mela HP Attack, Touch of Glue, Magic Attack, Inflict Defense Down. Okay, Shri grants attack up, max brave up, and speed up to self. Whale grants attack up, max brave up, and speed up to self. Okay, Shriek and Whale. So these things <clears throat> basically trigger when you, whenever you hit one of the three dark, uh, what are they called, ghost brothers. Dark Bargain, Brave plus HP attack. So they do have a Brave plus HP attack, need to be careful about that one, Deep Hatred, Brave Magic Attack, Wayne suspends Deep Hatred when HP drops below a certain amount with two allies standing. Suspends Deep Hatred when HP drops below a certain amount with two allies standing. I'm not exactly sure what this means, does it mean like they're not gonna do this thing or... It sounds like... Really, what do you mean? Suspend deep hatred. Anyway, let's see. So the shriek, well, they do gain attack up, speed up, and max bravery up. So let's see what kind of a team do we want to set up here. Let's go ahead and uh, make the setup right here. This is usually the co-op team, but obviously we need to take care about of the level 50, and we are also going to have to change it up for the co-op because this was for the for the uh, Seymour co-op, this is what we used, we used Ace, Tidus and Terra, mainly Ace, I was pretty happy with how Ace performed, Terra seemed to be doing really well as well, and Tidus, I didn't use too much of Tidus, but he did okay. Now, thing is, <clears throat> the synergy right here, we got Wall, we got Rem, and then obviously Sabin, but my Sabin, he's level 1, I don't have any gloves for him, so no matter what, I can't, I can't really use him. So as you can see, gloves, boom, 
this is all I have, a 4 star level 20, that is not going to work on this guy, even if I max him out 50-50, so Sabin, he is a no-go for me. And then we have Rem and Wool, now Rem, I don't really have too much for her, I guess I have her 4 star level 15, that would help a bit, like she gets, gets a few stats from this one, attack 72, which is not too bad, it's actually pretty good. And in terms of daggers, I can get her like a level 25 5 star. And oh, I do, I do have her 4 star weapon as well, which is pretty nice. So she could be decent, but she's not that strong, right? In terms of uh, skills, cure, swap turns, I feel like she's not going to be that useful. But my wall, look at this bad boy. So I got his knight's armor, and more importantly, I have this MLB enhancer for him, so this is gonna be real interesting. I'm just gonna remove it from Terra there because we don't need her anymore. And look at this bad boy, we got the MLB enhancer. Look at those stats. Very nice. Now, I wonder do we go with Knight's armor? I think we do. We do lose out some CP, but let's see if we would go for this one. See, we would lose some attack, we'd lose some max bravery. We do get quite a bit of defense, some more CP, which... Oh, look at this one, actually. Hmm. Honestly, I think this one is better, the Shinra Beta. We also got the... Uh, we just recently got the MLB Steiner right here, but... Um, as you can see, the... Uh, the Shinra Beta is still a bit better in terms of max bravery, although Warrior of Light he probably needs that defense. Attack. Yeah, I think we're gonna use the Steiner one. We gain 20 CP, we gain about 100 defense, we get some attack. We lose some max bravery, but that is not too big of a deal. And we lose out like 3 HP. We're gonna use the Steiner, the Steiner armor right here. Do the other there, boom. And let's see, so we got the Shining Shield, we got the Throw Buckler. And let's uh, check out the passives right here. So we do need Class Change, obviously this is pretty much a, um, a must-have. At the start of last battle, you gain a lot of stuff. Initial Bravery, Max Bravery, Attack, Defense. That is all real good. And now, let's see, we got some options here. I think we want Shining Shield up. Slide Raise, Shining Shield, Damage Resist, yes. Brave Guard Up, Brave Reprieve, maybe, maybe. Support Guard Up, Slide Raise, Defense of all party members with active shield buff, uh, that sounds good. Might Throw, Buckler, Charge, Charge, Bravery HP Damage, Slide Raise, Bravery upon taking HP Damage. That one doesn't sound too useful, it's only 5 CP though. We got the Max Bravery, we got a ton of HP, we got all the defense and everything. I wonder, I think we don't need these uh, these nodes for this mission, maybe for the co-op. I'm planning to take Warrior of, Life, Warrior of Light into co-op just because I have his MLB Enhancer, so he should be able to shine in this event, hopefully. Probably not though, there's probably still better options there, but since it's his synergy right now and I have his MLB Enhancer, this is the right time to try him out, right? And now, honestly, I also like taking the max bravery out. And uh, let me show you why. Because it kind of synergizes with brave reprieve. So this one, when bravery is at least 50% max bravery, so we took that max bravery out. So we have a higher ceiling for this 50% here. Break is avoided and brave drops to one. Although it says when bravery is at least 50%, break is avoided and Brave drops to 1. Um, I don't think he'll get broken though with 50%, that's the thing. Um, max Bravery, he's gonna have like 3000. Can he get broken with 3000? Probably not, man, probably not, especially in this mission. I feel like it's, it's also 15 CP. Man, it's really hard to use this, honestly. If you... If you're fighting a boss or double boss, I guess uh, when you're fighting a double, double boss, but even then, because you have to be at 50%, right? 
kinda depends on your max bravery and how hard the boss can hit you. You need something that hits you really hard so you can trigger your brave reprieve. And it's also 15 CP, man, that's really... Yeah, that isn't very good. <laughs> it's not very good. Brave guard up. Slightly raise defense when bravery is at least 50%. So we'll take the defense, because why not? Then support guard up for the sh shield buff, more defense. That works. Brave reprieve. Pretty sure we don't need that one. And I guess we'll take everything else, including the bravery HP damage, because that's all we can get right now. There we go, 105 CP. We pretty much got everything there is to get. Oh, we don't have um, we don't have any artifact passives on this guy. I just noticed, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Uh, white crystals. We didn't really farm white artifacts at all. So we have our wall. Let's put him in there. Boom, number one. And then let's see. We probably want Titus, and we probably want. I'm gonna say. Ace, where is my ace? My ace, I've been enjoying my ace quite a lot. He seems to be doing fairly well. Ace is nice, but obviously we could use Vaughn, we could use Cloud. You can sort by attack here real quick just to see who are our strongest ones. So Zidane, he'd be good as well because he has his 35 CP. Saz, we have his MLB, but honestly, we pro can probably take that MLB from Saz, put it on someone else. Now, actually, someone who is really good, Laguna, we do have his weapon. So he would actually be really good here. Hmm. I wonder, what if, what if we take Laguna? We get more AoE, but I don't think we really need the AoE. I think this is the team right here. And honestly... Maybe Sylph is the way to go or Chocobo, just because the event should be pretty fast. But I feel like Ifrit, we should be able to to charge our Ifrit, just because there are 5 waves and we have the mini boss right there. So I think we're just gonna run with this team. Warrior of Light, <laughs> I'm definitely interested to see how well he works. And let's go ahead and pick our support. Most likely, we are gonna take that MLB Squall goodness, and honestly, I don't know who we want to swap here. Probably Warrior of Light, to be honest, just because Tidus and Ace, they're gonna be dealing a lot of damage, right? Warrior of Light, probably do a few shields, if we can, then swap him out for Squall, because this battle is pretty much a DPS race, so we don't really need to worry about... Uh, anything else and we can play a little bit safe because why not although mm -mm, slash combo actually I want to use slash combo on the Garuda so I'm gonna save for now I'm just gonna do that now with ace see we could burst here but I, mean, I feel like again we should save for the Garuda Warrior of Light. Let's see this brave attack. 740 with the resist. Alright, not too shabby. I like how they, he gets hit for one. He has so much defense, man. He is really super decked out. Okay, what do we do here? I guess we just hit... Or we should hit this guy because... He's got... Or it doesn't really matter. We can break him with Ace. Because we want to try and not to get to HP attack. Oh, but it looks like that one reset. Okay, he didn't, uh, didn't HP attack anyway, so we are good. There we go. Because we don't want to lose that Ifrit buff, right? If we can help it. Alright, Titus. Break this full. There we go. And let's see. Oh, we could do Great Spiral Combo. Hmm. We are at wave 2. Honestly, I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Just to get that uh, attack buff. And he's probably gonna get one shot perfect. And we can clear out the bat as well. There we go. Smooth ride so far. So now I have the Garuda. She's level 45. But we can do a slash combo right away. That's gonna deal 
ton of damage put those triple debuffs Garuda she's gonna enter in a, in a vulnerable mode and we have plenty of turns now we can do a couple of bursts we can do what can we do here this is wave three so we could do a throw buckler just because we can why not get that ton in there and this bad boy can do some quick hits warrior of light he should probably just HP attack or he could brave attack let's see his brave attack 1874 very nice very nice we got a lot of bravery already on our boy here boy ace and then this guy hmm, he's gonna have a lot of stuff to play with let's go ahead and do another quick hit get that break hopefully there we go he gets to max do the HP attack boom everything going swell so far she should be targeting our uh, our wall unless he's gonna do yep he's gonna do an all attack like that um, I don't really care if we get broken here he's in the middle there so ace will make sure that he doesn't get an extra turn so we can go ahead and do HP attack and our boy ace he kind of wanted to do a great spiral but see he can't really do that right now so let's just do a normal brave attack Ooh, that hits so hard because of that um, that ranged weakness right he is weak to range so our boy ace doing some work now let's go ahead with the slash combo actually do we need a slash combo we don't even need the slash combo I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually it's let's do it why not just to speed up the process speed it up a bit boom get the 4k and Garuda should be yep there we go she is gone all right way four two specters one goblin mage we could do a slash combo I don't know if we need it we're gonna save it we're gonna save it four slash combos I'm thinking that should be plenty for the last two battle now B right here can go ahead and break this bad boy now warrior of light could kill the specter here we could also shield himself although I kind of want to get shield on someone else if possible let's get the shield on Titus or no yeah on Titus and then on ace let's get ready for the final battle look at that look at that defense they can't do anything to him um c a is right there let's let's finish up actually uh, let's finish up this guy because he he's targeting wait but titus he's got the shield already so thing is he might uh, attack let's see ace Hopefully Ace can clear this uh, can clear this up. Go ahead and do the safe play right there. And very nice. Clear clean him out. And can he want he can actually one shot, which is interesting. So we could do that, or we could do a shield and get ready for the final battle. So let's do shield instead. 3473, that is so much shielding man. And it's very nice and there we go let's go ahead and do we want to get the uh, attack buff I guess we do get the triple attack buff boom and now we're ready for the final battle we got 3500 shield on Titus 3500 shield on Ace we got the three turns for the attack up and we can swap out warrior of light and let's see we got B right there. We're gonna start with the slash combo, hit him for a truckload. Ace, he can do some burst action. Just like that. 2k. And now we could go into Ifrit mode right away, which honestly, we're gonna do just that. We are gonna lose the time on our shield, which is kind of against what we're trying to do here. But it's fine, man. It's fine. This is going to work out just fine 
Alright, squad, let's see. Who do we wanna target? Should we target this one? I'm, I'm actually gonna do it. Let's see. The thing is, the other ones, they're gonna start buffing Grub, right? Because we're doing this thing. I do want to get some uh, some of these debuffs. I want to spread the debuffs on every single one of them. Okay, we got Squall again. Let's do another Renzo Kuken. Look at that damage. Very nice. He's actually down. Perfect. We got a great spiral. I'm going to target him because he has the debuffs. And we're going to put some more debuffs with Tidus on this other guy. Boom. That is uh, that is one slash combo left right there, and then we can pretty much get rid of this guy with that break real nice there. Boom, easy peasy. Get our last slash combo in there. Boom, 4300 ace. I feel like we just want to do spiral combo. We got three of those left. That is more than enough. We can do a solid barrel or a Renzo Kuken. I feel like. If we do the Renza cooking, we should be able to get rid of the uh, Ghost Brother. What, what's his name again? Yeah, the Ghost Brother. Oh, my my Titus though, he doesn't have anything left. Although if we do the quick hit, we can get an extra turn right there. So that is going to work out. And we do have the Great Spiral combo here for a ton of damage. And there it is. The victory is ours. So again... This is only the part 5, level 50. This is more for demonstration purposes. And there we go, 37k. Easy peasy. Get all those milestones. Get the second Tiger Mask for our boy Sabin. Got a couple of 2 stars there. And Warrior of Light. He didn't get, to, he didn't get in on the action, right? Because unfortunately, Warrior of Light... He's not so good for a DPS race, right? He's good for the shields, he's good for taking attention on himself. I guess he he is good in the sense that he covers his teammates, but obviously we didn't really need that right now. So hopefully we can use him in the co-op and uh, see how good he is. But yeah guys, that was Saving Event Part 5, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your thoughts are, let me know what teams have you been using and how well you're doing with this event. But anyway guys, we'll be hopping into the co-op on our next video. Until then, you guys have a good one and take care. I shall see you next time.